Wow, Tinubu is running a one-man government. Top APC uh, leader groans as Tinubu appoints Ganduje's son, daughter's husband in his cabinet. <laughs> Not with more Tino. So the thing which actually is exactly what uh, uh, Buhari did for eight years, nepotism of the highest order. So Tinubu only is an exception. So Tinubu rather than correcting it, he is even doing more of it. <clears throat> you know, he promised that, um, you know, he will continue from where Buhari stopped. And that is exactly what he's doing. Continuing from where Buhari stopped. And nepotism is one of the things that marked Buhari's government. And Tinubu is uh, doing it better. Hmm. Lamentations rock the polity over recent appointments by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Many maintain that President Tinubu has no f has uh, so far favored his friends and political associates at the detriment of competence, which he vowed to be the key criterion in the recruitment of his lieutenant uh, daily trust reported. Barely one month after he was declared the winner of the 2023 presidential election, President Tinubu in a statement declared that neither religion nor ethnicity or other considerations will determine appointments into his uh, government. Contrary to that solemn promise, however, some Nigerians are raising great concerns about the tendency of the president towards the appointment of friends, family, and associates to positions of authority, in some cases without proper regard to their qualifications. So some party leaders and foot soldiers who worked for the victory of the ruling of Progressive Congress APC are also raising voices of concern about being left out in the series of appointments President Tinubu has made so far. Allegations of lopsidedness which were raised against former President Muhammad Ubari have resurfaced again. Exactly. Some names that have come up when the allegations of cronyism against the president is discussed include the appointment of his daughter's husband, Oye Tunde Ojo, as the chief executive officer of the Federal Housing Authority. Tinubu's daughter, Falashade Tinubu Ojo, is the Iyaologia of Lagos, also mentioned is the appointment of the daughter of Chief B.C. Akonde, Temitope Ilori, as uh, the director general of the National Agency for the Control of AIDS, NACA as well as the appointment of the Umar Abdullahi Ganduje, uh, the appointment of his son, okay, as the executive director of technical services rural electrification agency, Umar is his son, okay, Umar is the Abdullahi Umar Ganduje's son, and the national chairman of the APC, that is the Ganduje. So APC members worried the premises of patronage yet to be fulfilled. Top APC stalwart and foot soldier has expressed um, grave concerns over the president's various uh, appointments. The party stakeholders are reported to be unhappy with Tinubu's style of appointment since he became president. Reacting to the development, credible sources also lamented the delay in fulfilling promises of political patronage at the center. APC leader says Tinubu's chances in 2017. <laughs> so according to a senior party leader who pleaded anonymity, the president's um, 2027 ambition might be in jeopardy since he is now seen as a man perceived to be running a one-man show in Abuja and does not care about party members from states who got votes from him. So most of those who showed unwavering loyalty to him with the hope that their supporters would be uh, rewarded with federal appointments are disappointed, the source said. Hmm. So another source familiar with the working around the presidency said, the president had asked governors to v submit names for chief executive officers of agencies, which they did, but he failed to act on those names till date. Hmm. So another source who pleaded anonymity disclosed that the idea of governor submitting names was to correct the alleged infractions noticed in ministerial positions and other previous appointments by those people the president trusted. 
So it is now evident to those governors and other stakeholders that the president has dumped the list he asked them to submit as it is now obvious that he is running a one-man government with his kinsmen from Lagos and Oshun, he lamented. <laughs> he reached out. They never said anything. Eh? By the time Tinubu will finish with them, they will know the difference. Eh? He said a difference, a different town hall. Abi, a different, different town hall with uh, Bala Blue, Bulaba. Brrr. Hey, that I see the different town hall now. Not be lied. So now APT people are complaining, not just um, opposition party now. A lot of them have been dumped, both north and south. And now they have seen that the same tribal bagotry, nepotism that uh, thrived in Buhari's government is even thriving more now in Tinubu's uh, government. So what do we have to say? They have to take it. After all, that's what they wanted. Muslim, Muslim ticket in action. That is it. Okay. So, I say, so no Kaba hijacked his government this time. Good. One man show. Good. He is the only one Nigeria voted for as president. There is nothing that can please them until they are selfishly pleased. Can you imagine? This one, they talk now. If you go check him, you don't get anything for body. You don't get anything for Nash. Now, hunger, the warrior. Eh? Who will not favor go cry? Of course. Now, so life be right from time. So, are the supposedly relations of PBAT qualified? If they are qualified, I sincerely think that there is no point uh, begrudging him uh, for appointing them. Okay? Is it a sin to be related to people in government? Should they be denied of opportunities because they have a link with some at the top? Let's be fair in all things. Seek your own opportunities and stop the campaign of calumny. Please, it is blackmail and quite cheap. Can you imagine what somebody is saying now? And somebody is now asking him, will your emotional blackmail of ardent supporters of Tinubu who truth thick and thin gave out their life savings to be able to clear off the crime of nepotism? Hmm. Even if they are qualified, are they the only Nigerians that are qualified? Have you ever heard of the word nepotism? Why do we have Federal Character Commission, Finance Minister Yoruba, CBN Governor Yoruba, Accountant General Yoruba, EFC Chairman Yoruba, you people want to steal money and cover it up. Even in the security agencies, Chief of Army Staff is Yoruba and Inspector General of Police is Yoruba waiting waiting and somebody said please this is his time allow him to breathe can you imagine are they not qualified it's not about being qualified are they the only qualified people in nigeria that is, should be the question are they the people with the best of cvs in nigeria with huge nigerian population that should be the question so let's get it right and somebody said that was what buhari did and tinubu said he will continue he will follow his footstep there is no democracy in nigeria it's just familial crazy i not be lying i agree now, familial crazy. Absolute familial crazy. So, thank you for listening, and uh, let's have your comments.